Do you currently feel that your trading results are not a direct reflection of the hard work and the long hours that you put in to, to learn your trading or to try and master your trading strategy? And maybe these results that you keep on getting have actually lowered your confidence. You're no longer confident in your strategy. You're no longer confident in you as a trader and you're almost at the brink of giving up. Well, in this video, I'll share with you how to develop and actually how to have unshakable confidence in your trading. So I'm going to show you how you can develop confidence so you can be able to hold positions like this old trade that we're currently seeing here that we've been holding since the say early days of March and currently it's moving in our direction. So we've been holding because we were anticipating something. We were getting our confidence to hold from somewhere. It wasn't just confidence just, that just uh, fell from the sky, but there is a reason why we had confidence to actually hold this trade, right? And also we're gonna look at a trade uh, that we've also been holding for some time since uh, I'd say early, sorry, not early, but late, late February, we've been holding this trade on silver, right? We had we have a buy position on silver. Let me go into a bit of a higher time frame. I think it will be more visible there, yeah, as you can see here. We've been holding this buy position on silver, right? Since late February, right? And why why were we confident, or where did we get the confidence to actually hold this trade, right? So that is what I'm going to explain to you guys shortly and show you. So we're going to go over to a LinkedIn post that I created or that I shared in the beginning of January 2024. So it reads as follows. Risk sentiment plays a big role in the investment world, something that most retail traders never take into account when participating in the financial markets. Risk sentiment is a two-sided coin in the financial markets. Fortunately for us, it does not change quickly like a coin toss from heads to tails, but gradually shifts sentiment to either side of the coin. One side of the coin is risk on. When there is optimism in the financial markets that turns on investors to put, to put some risk on the table to make some profits. This results in an influx of capital into riskier assets, stocks, emerging market currencies like the South African Rand, commodity currencies, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar. With high return potential like stocks, this of course drives asset prices up, right? We saw this after March 2020 when central banks stepped in to rescue the economies from the COVID-19 stronghold resulting in massive rallies in the stock market. The other side of the coin is risk off. When there is uncertainty or panic in the financial markets and this of course turns off investors from taking risks but rather preserve capital or profits made by diverting into safe haven assets or low return assets. Safe haven assets include gold, bonds, USD, JPY and CHF. Risk off scenarios could be elections, but most common being recessions and geopolitical tensions like wars. So I gave that highlight in the beginning of 2024 to try and frame perspectives of, re of some retail traders who actually follow me on LinkedIn to give them a, a, a different outlook in terms of how to approach the markets which which is why i kept on referencing that as investors because we need to approach the market as an investor whether you're looking to day trade or whether you're looking to swing trade but understanding fundamentals or understanding fundamental analysis or performing fundamental analysis is very important because fundamental analysis tells you why markets move they give you all the reasons why market move. And if you know all the reasons as to why markets are moving, then it will be easier for you to make informed decisions in the financial markets. It will be easier for you to position yourself like we positioned ourselves by looking to buy gold, by looking, so not gold, but silver, by looking to buy silver, by also looking to buy oil, right? Then it reads as continues, right? In 2024, we are seeing geopolitical tensions taking center stage with the Middle East tensions. Hamas, Israel war, Houthis attacking maritime vessels in the Red Sea, disruption in the Red Sea commercial vessel transit, UK and US joint airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen, US owned ships struck by Houthi anti-ship anti -ship missile, right, or anti-ship missile, Hezbollah missile attacks on Israel, then Israeli airstrikes on Hezbollah and now waiting on a Houthi retaliation to recent US-UK airstrikes. 
Let us not forget that 2024 was already expected to be a year of slow growth, recession risk and interest rate cuts. All the events mentioned above are shifting the sentiment to risk off in favor of safe haven assets and oil benefiting in the particular scenario. Oil benefiting in the particular scenario. So early, early, early 2024, I was already looking to position myself to buy oil. Based on predominantly most of the reasons that I explained in this paragraph right here, right? Then lastly, in closing, a combination of recession risks and geopolitical tensions is not a good mix. But at least after reading this, after reading this, we now know where to cast our eyes, hint, hint, safe havens and oil and not get caught blindsided as retail traders when the tide fully shifts and we see a sharp rise in the CBOE volatility, which is the volatility index that I've once spoken about in this video. I'll actually tag the video up on top here where I actually broke down risk on risk off in that in that very specific video using the volatility index. Then of course I give just a disclaimer, keep in mind this is not financial advice and of course I have no clue what I'm doing. And of course fast forward to today, which is of course early days of April 2024, we've been having a lot of headlines, right? We've been having or receiving a lot of headlines. Some of the headlines read as follows. So vibe shifts or vibe shift in markets as stocks fall oil jumps brent hit, hits 90 dollars for the first time since november i'm also in the in a in a buy of course in brent crude oil then but here's the driving the driving force behind it the why the fundamental why fears of iran attack on israel are driving markets that would explain the recent price action i won't go into the into into the actual link so we can read the full articles but essentially it is just elaborating in what i highlighted in 2024 january about the geopolitical tensions and and that hint that i gave that you need to look at safe havens as well as oil silver is an alternative safe haven to gold right and and then of course oil benefiting why because middle east tensions there's a disruption in the supply of oil we also have uh OPEC cuts that are or output cuts that are already running in, 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 in at the same time we also have as well the International Energy Agency which is IEA they actually came out with a, a with a, 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 a downward forecast in the in the in this in the in the sorry not a downward forecast but an increase forecast in the demand of oil in 2024 right amid of course uh, slow down in, in global growth because of the what because of the geopolitical tension specifically the war or tensions in the middle east right and these are all recent recent things that they just that have been making headlines or making waves but because i thought from an investor perspective and i understood risk on risk off because that is the key takeaway from this video that is what will build your confidence that is what will enable you to be confident in your trading understanding which risk environment we are in and what risks actually center around that environment and where you as an investor yes you might be a day trader but view yourself as an investor so that you can know why the markets are moving and where to actually look to position yourself and and and, and actually allocate your capital right then some of the uh what next for markets if iran attacks israel usd jpy drops on geopolitical fears right so i've spoken about this in depth right in especially in the early in the early days of 2024 i've been speaking about this and and, and actually alerting some traders that you should be aware as long as the war persists in the middle east then there is upside risks to oil there is what there is upside risks as well to what to a risk off situation or a risk off environment actually what engulfing the the the, the, the markets as uh, in general right so i've been emphasizing on this and that is where i'm getting my confidence from i'm getting my confidence from fundamentals but specifically risk on risk off and understanding how it actually impacts us so now let us look at volatility index of which if you watch the video that I that I that I that way I explained risk on risk off which I actually tagged earlier 
you can see that we had a shoot up in volatility this is the daily is the daily time frame the volatility index we had a shoot up in volatility and because volatility is pushing higher that means that there is a risk of mood or sentiment in the market and that has resulted in nasdaq all the indices falling lower which are what which are risk assets that i spoke about in that linkedin post and then all the safe haven assets actually rallying and pushing higher and then of course oil being an exception in this particular scenario because one of the drivers is the geopolitical tensions from the middle east right so this is where i get the confidence to actually hold i get the confidence to actually execute positions and fear not in terms of how the markets would develop right because i keep updating myself with what the current news are what is currently happening and i am not relying on technical analysis only so if you want to develop unshakable confidence in your trading and you want to actually transform your trading and you want your trading results to be a true reflection of the hard work and dedication that you put into your trading because as you can see that is what i'm currently experiencing and not to boast or say anything but the only reason i'm experiencing these results or this so mind-blowing results to others in terms of how i'm actually comfortable or able to hold for such a long time it is because i have dedicated myself to trading using fundamentals i have dedicated myself to follow fundamental analysis above any other form of, of analysis when it comes to trading right because i believe and i strongly believe and i strongly stand by that that the fact that we have nine out of ten retail traders who are struggling to become profitable in trading that sh that was a strong enough reason for me to actually focus on fundamental analysis because i knew that majority of retail traders were not focusing on fundamental analysis and maybe just maybe that is the reason why nine out of ten are actually not profitable right so this is how i i gained my con i gained my confidence when it comes to trading and this is how you can also gain your confidence because as you can see I am just following fundamentals it's not something that is unique to me but if you dedicate yourself to learning and understanding fundamentals then i guarantee you within 12 months by the end of 2024 your trading would have transformed my trading transformed within a matter of two months after i had started learning fundamentals right but i guarantee you 12 months will you will, your trans your, your trading will not be in the same place but that is only if you decide that you are going to start learning fundamental analysis start dedicating your trading to actually mastering fundamental analysis otherwise you'll just keep on spinning your wheels and not really moving much in terms of distance your trading not really developing or moving to the next level as much as you would like it to right so i just wanted to share this video with you guys and of course as always if you found this video valuable like the video share the video uh, if you have not yet subscribed, of course, hit that subscribe button and of course, do turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload another video. And of course, guys, you can also connect with me on socials. I have the I have I have the links down in the bottom. The first link is for you to get access to my spreadsheet, which is a uh, which you can click that link there. The second link will be for my website. 